boy, these are styling and profiling. They are. Aren't they look good with Hey, let's see, let's see how I look next to it. Let's see how I look next to Flair. But what do they call them? Beefcake? We kind of look alike? A little bit, <laughs> yeah. do we? Don't look no? Hold on. We might look a little bit alike. Could we be brothers? Maybe. What do you think? Hey, y'all y'all go tell Flair, just Flair, F L A I R. What do you think? Brothers? Can we be brothers? Let me know down in the chit chat. No, not the chit chat. Down in the comments. I'll check it later. I think we could. Alright guys, for today's video, we are going to be doing some brand new unboxing at the Guggen Squad headquarters. So the team is actually here out back. It's like, what, 10 o'clock? When they get here, dear? 9? 10? Something like that. Anyway, so the team is back here. Remember all those units that we shoved in the garage? Well, they are here loading it up in a U-Haul because we're going to take it to Guggen Squad, do some unboxing, and set up our first high bid auction since the building burned down. Oh, hey, there's the old U-Haul. What's up, Wienerheads? Say hi. Say hi to the subscribers. Hello. Hey. Hello. There's Katie. All right, so check it. Whoa. Man, put this stuff back in there. This looks horrible. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Look at my garage. Oh. All right. How much room you got there? Enough. Is this a 20-footer? Yeah. All right, guys, so look. We have this 20-footer truck that we are putting both of these units in. There is a ton of stuff in here that we have not unboxed. So what we're gonna do is take this up to Guggen Squad, well, Grimes Fines headquarters, and we're gonna start setting up the first high bid auction this week. Are y'all excited? Yeah, I'm ready like, to go back to work. Yeah, y'all are getting lazy, aren't you? <laughs> the true test is when we start buying units again. Uh. All right, but we're hiring two new people, so hey, if you live in the Crum area, Denton area, and you're looking for a job, I will be hiring two to three people. To work for Katie. Hey, let's see if we can make a little bit more noise. I don't think you made enough. I knew it. Like, how do you look at that? I'm trying to move shelves with stuff in it and just bust my brand new VHS holder. Brand new. Oh, you're about to break my other one. What are y'all doing? That's how my stuff gets scratched up. Look at that. Shelf on a shelf, no blanket. Y'all wonder all them dings and nicks that get in the furniture for the auction? These two. Make the pregnant lady pick it up, guys. I'm holding the camera, I would help. Yeah, so, Katie just said that we either had a choice between the mattress and the pictures to put on the truck. Is that what you just said? Yes. Okay, so either only the mattress or only the pictures can go. How long have you been doing this Not now? Not those pictures, our whole box too. What? Take the pictures out. That's what I'm Look how much room's in that truck. Wait till Jake moves and I'll show you. Look at that. Look at all that room in there. Let's we'll show them all the room in the truck. I know there's room. No, I'm, I'm making fun of your wife right now. You're off the hook, so get out of the way. Unless you want me to start in on you. Look at that. Look at all this room. Oh, only the mattress or the pictures, guys. You got to make a choice. Right? Hey, actually, that mattress will go straight up on top. That box will sit right up here. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm. You know, when we go back to work... I'm stepping out of operations, and so is Gina. You're right. fully in charge. in charge. All your training. So, are you gonna let me down? Sometimes. I don't think you are. <laughs> Sometimes. Right? Well, it'd be unrealistic for me to say you're never gonna let me down, right? <laughs> right. Everybody lets somebody down at some point. All right, guys. So, all right, we're gonna finish loading this up. I've got to take the kids over to their mama's house, and they're gonna hang out with her. Uh, for a few days, and they'll be back over, and then we're gonna head out to Goon Squad headquarters, right? Right. All right, let's go. Oh, hold on, guys. Before that, I did get a lot of comments. Look, there's the chair we did the testimonial video in. That is not on the truck for a specific reason. So when we filmed that video, we put a lot of energy into that video, but because it's such an important video, um, the audio was horrible, y'all. Y'all could hear like every other word. It was just bad and it was something I couldn't put out. So anyway, we got those new mics now, right? And so we're gonna take that chair back up to the church probably at the end of this week or next week and we're gonna refilm that video. So a lot of y'all been asking, hey Justin, where's the testimonial video? That is the only reason why I didn't. I released the little trailer and then after, if you would've watched the trailer, you would've been like expecting something really high quality. 
and you wouldn't have got high quality. So anyway, uh, my testimony is, means more to me than anything in life of how I came to know God. So that's like the most important thing. So why wouldn't I want to put high quality? So anyway, there's the chair. It's staying here. We're taking it back out of the church. We're going to use mics. We're going to refilm it. It's going to be great. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so we are here at Guggen Squad. The first order is to go get some new glasses. I know that Rob sells sunglasses in here, and I'll tell you why I've been wearing these. I started getting all these little floaty things in my vision, and I don't think it's anything serious. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but instead of looking like the Unabomber, <laughs> I'm going to go buy some actual, uh, I don't even know if they're Guggen Squad or what brand they are. I just know they're in that cabinet, and I'm going to go buy a pair. Is that okay? Hey. Let's go means, buy a pair. That means I get my glasses back. And I don't look like a terrorist. That's always possible. Is Rob here? What's up? Is Rob here? No. Huh. Glasses, but this is what they call the influencer room. And there is some here. These are all sexy. I think these are what makes Rob so sexy right here. These. Let's see if these are them. And are you sure you don't want me to pay for these? All right. That's really super kind. Oh, look, look, got a little Guggen Squad, little satchel, because everybody likes a satchel. All right, all right, this is really hard to do. Oh, my gosh, I'll edit this out. All right, let's see. Come on, get out the satchel. Get out the satchel. Oh, yeah. All right, now these will not make me look like a terrorist, so we will go with these beautiful bad boys. So, if you go to the Guggen Squad uh, website, I'm sure that you can purchase any of these beautiful items right here. Huh? Guggensquad.com. So anyway, hey, I lucked out on these bad boys. Let's try them on. And well, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, guys. Y'all obviously know Guggen Bates. They're in freaking all the big retailers all over the U.S. So uh, let's do this. But I had no idea they had this stuff in here or I would have grabbed some stuff and took this to the castle that we rented because as you saw, weenies don't catch fish. Especially when it's cold. Oh boy, these are styling and profiling. They are. Aren't they? Look, Guggen Squad. Hey, let's see. Let's see how I look next to. Let's see how I look next to Flair. Or what do they call them? Beefcake. We kind of look alike. A little bit, <laughs> no. do we? <laughs> Y'all don't look no. alike. No. Hold on. We might look a little bit alike. Could we be brothers? Maybe. What do you think? Hey, y'all. Y'all go tell Flair. Just Flair. F L A I R. What do you think? Brothers? Could we be brothers? Let me know down in the chit chat. No, not the chit chat. Down in the comments. I'll check it later. I think we could. All right, Gina's going to take the truck around to the back to our part of the warehouse. I was just coming through. I was hoping Rob was here. There's his white truck. It looks like they might be uh, ready to go on a fishing expedition. Huh. Oh, there's the team. Man, these glasses work good. Sorry, that was really nasty. There's my beautiful wife. All right, guys, so we're gonna go in here Man, these do help a lot. All right, so we're gonna go in here and do some unboxing of things and tell the team where we want things to go because we have to start getting everything in order to be able to operate full blast as soon as this Arona is over. All right, hold on. Game plan. They're like, crap. How'd y'all unload that truck so fast? Usually it takes take y'all about three days to do that. Y'all like my new glasses? Are they Googan? They're Googan. Yeah. You know how much I paid for them? Zero. Zero? Why? Because they called friends. me an influencer. That's a weird. Well, he is my friend too. But anyway, <laughs> so hey, remember, guggensquad.com. Go get your merch, your gear, all of that good stuff right here. No, this video is not sponsored by Guggen, but it should be. Guggen, you want to sponsor me? You're like, no, not yet. Maybe later, Justin. Not now. Go get them. Okay, so hey, guys, remember when we had a talk about that we want to, the best, here's the edumacation thing, right? We want to touch the items the least amount of times possible, right? Because touching the items means that we put labor dollars into it every time we touch it, right? So our plan always, right, is to get it off the truck into a position that it's gonna stay in, right, until we sell it? Or do we want to move it three or four times? Answer, Katie, three you're, the, you're the boss. <laughs> three or four times. You're it, why? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, cause she's like, this is not my money. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so what I'm kind of explaining to them and Katie is that we are going to assist them. Uh, we were doing, what, at least at least one auction a week. At least. 
at least we were probably doing somewhere between six to ten auctions a month a month y'all we were slinging a ridiculous amount of storage units were we not yes ridiculous and not just picking good things out and throwing the rest away i mean we were freaking selling it out so what we're doing is we are only going to two auctions a month every two weeks we're going to hold one massive online high bid auction and we're going to offer you one live youtube auction a month that might go to two but one at least a month and two massive high bid auctions what we are doing is we are going to reduce our labor costs by doing that uh, we have learned a lot over the years right we yeah. learned what doesn't work what works i think yeah. we've we've done a good job i feel like at, at perfecting this kind of platform so what we're doing here is we're clearing all of this space let me flip this around space because what i was telling them is this isn't like we had to do last time where we'd have to rip through units every single week right i'd buy units we go bid i mean we were pushing ourselves hard right yeah. that's what we had to do so we're going five to only huh you're buying five units a week okay. yeah <laughs> yeah easy so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna always start, we're getting this stuff cleaned up on the wall and moved over there. We'll put all this stuff in that pile, okay? But every time that stuff comes off the truck, basically you want it to go where you're gonna sell it at. Because if you keep moving it, that's labor dollars. You're paying someone to move stuff around and around. And sometimes when you're limited in space, that happens a lot, right? Yeah. We had to do that. That's why we got the bigger building and that did help until it burned down. So what we're gonna do is, is every time furniture comes off the truck, it's going to come right here, and the first piece is going to go here. And what we're going to do is line furniture all the way down the wall, and then it'll come back on this line facing this way. So you'll have furniture facing this way. This way, we'll put rugs. We'll put uh, dining room tables and stuff. We'll go in the center, right? We'll put dining room tables up the center, and we'll lot all the small stuff on it. So this basically should fit a 1,000 lots easy, just this strip. And what we'll do is, is we'll set stuff over here like they did here, but going forward all that furniture would have come straight over here and we'll start lotting it right and then boxes we'll always put over there on that wall behind that line right because we want to say look we're working in a way smaller space right yeah. way smaller yeah. space but i think we can do this very well because of, i mean just i mean rob thank you again i mean rob is letting us use six thousand square feet for free that's ridiculously kind thank you sir Anyway, all right, so let's do it. Let's get this cleaned up. Boom, we'll set up a time lapse. One of you guys set up a time lapse. And we'll start doing furniture and we'll show you how that goes. All right, guys, so I was going to show you this. So we're going to clear this section out. So a lot of y'all know that you'd usually pull up. Uh, come inside our warehouse we had 14,000 square foot auction house you come in pay for yourself we usually always had your order pulled we pre-pull orders so we're going to take this little little white desk that we found in one of the units we're going to put it right here uh running from that wall down this way this will be the pickup area we'll make it look all nice and pretty hang some of our youtube memorabilia up there and then basically i don't know how the rona is going to work out we might have you pull your car into here pay and then drive out that door Huh? That would be awesome. That's what I'm thinking. You ever had a drive through auction house? It's about to go down, y'all. You're about to see it for the first time. So check it out. But you really could. You could. We could pull that up. You could pull in, pay right there, right? All the items. We'll have all of the items pre-pulled like normal, right? That's a normal operation for us. Why? We like when, I know as an auction buyer, whenever I would buy stuff online auctions, and it's not their fault, but what I would do is, is we'd go to the auctions and you're waiting there forever. There's a ton of people in line. Um, and you're just having to pay yourself. So now what we've done is we already set up to where you automatically pay online for your auction. You show up, basically, we hand it to you. Most of our guests, like literally, like they walk in and they've already paid and they grab, we they give us their name, if we don't know it already, hand them their stuff, boom, they're gone. So how would it be if for right now during the Rona, because I think we go ahead and run an auction. You'll pull up, pay, we'll have mask on, and then you'll get your items. We'll either put it in your back seat, like Walmart does, put it in the back of your truck, and you'll just pull, I don't know, with that pole. I don't know, we'll see. It seems like a good idea, but I don't know how some of you fools drive, so it might not work. All right, so yeah, that's the section now that you can kind of see it better. So we'll clear that out. That table's gonna go right there. That'll be where you pay your bills. Uh, let's get that pallet jack out of that corner, guys, or that pallet. Uh -huh. um, they've swept all this out. What they're doing now is they're starting to stage all of the furniture that we had in that big unit over here. 
And I don't know, guys. We might pop up a high bid auction next week. I don't know. How would y'all like that? Not in the chit chat. Down in the comments below. Let me know. Would you like a high bid auction next week? And so this wall over here where the furniture is, I'm going to go buy a kind of uh, almost a chest high table, uh, like 20 feet of it. And we're going to run it uh, on that wall. And that will be the new packing area to where we do shipping because I'm sure we're going to do a crap ton of shipping during the Rona. Right? The Rona. 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 All right, guys. So quick update. So here's where all the boxes are going. We've been working out the plan. And they've got some stuff set up. So all of this stuff will be in our first high bid auction. We'll pretty it up. And so what you're going to see is by the end of this, you're going to see furniture right here too, facing this way. All the way down, we're going to make this look nice and pretty and all the pretty crystal and flatware sets and paper art glasses and collectibles and video games will be all staged on these things. So this is how it's going to look, guys, from at least the rest of the year tomorrow guys video uh don't go anywhere the video ain't over but hey uh we're gonna put all the boxes right here there's a ton of the boxes that you have not seen here's what we're gonna do not this tuesday but next tuesday we are going to do a youtube live auction we're gonna do one a month or twice a month i hadn't decided so we're gonna go ahead and do one more since it was so successful we had a lot of good times um uh, i thought it went well some other people didn't, but that's okay. Uh, but anyway, so uh, what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to do unboxing of all the stuff that you have not seen out of those two units. And I'll tell you a little secret. I'm bidding on some units. Stay tuned. So I was going to keep these, but we're not going to keep these anymore. Y'all had a rolling cart. Why didn't y'all use it? It's right there. All you do, put that there, put the couch, flip it on its back, boom, roll it. We already had it in our hands coming off the couch. That's what, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so check it out, y'all. This is really nice. This is going to start out at a buck, y'all. And I'm telling you, look, it's nail head. We'll get this off, but I'm telling you, the chair is super comfortable. So this will be in the next high bid auction. I had couches for my house. I lost them in the fire. Oh, that's right. You did. Well, hey, you can buy that one. Hey, look, there's the sectional piece of it. Looking all nice and pretty and red, and he's breaking. What is that? I don't know. What is that? Something else. I didn't go to that. I don't think you found it. Oh, I got to show them, y'all. I'm telling you, look, this is going to be a beautiful. Look how big this sectional is. So, and once we're done filming the second time testimony with good audio this time, we'll bring the chair up here and we'll auction it off too. So you might have a whole set. Totally. Oh, look what I just found, y'all. Hey, the next live YouTube auction, would y'all like if I put these in there? This is the Reggie Jackson Hall of Fame signed baseball. This one is the Nolan Ryan. So I was about to stage these over here, but hey, right now, not in the chit chat, the comments below, let me know, would y'all be interested in next Tuesday's live auction if I were to put these signed baseballs in there? Let me know. Check it out. Kay's like, man, I don't know if there's any good boxes. Look at this. Knickknacks in my office. Fragile. So, y'all know my thing. I love office boxes because it's usually the stuff that's in the desk. People keep their coins, their collectibles. That's where people keep their stuff, right? Yeah. But this was a lady, so I may not have all this. Nuh uh. Yo, this might be a fun box. You were holding out on me, Katie. Yeah. Oh, look, that's that camera. What? That's the camera. Oh, no, what? This? No. Darth Vader? No, that. Y'all look. But that's cool. What? Didn't we find the empty boxes? Remember? One of the first things we found was the empty boxes. Huh? We have that box. We do have this box. So check it out. That's the 12 inch figure. Uh, Star Wars. He's got his thing. We do have the box for that. So uh, I don't know. What are we thinking? YouTube auction or high bid? I say YouTube. I, I'm thinking it too. We have some killer. Y'all, next Tuesday is going to be stupid. All right, let's see what else we got. Little uh, pewter. Hey, that's a matching set of three. Is it? I found the other two. Made in Germany. Okay. Oh, look. I always oh, like that's so that cool. is pretty cool. That's an old military photo. 1919. Yeah, look. Is that his pipe? Yep, his old pipe. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a fun box. You were holding out. Look, a plastic yak. Oh, it's a yak. <laughs> no, what did you call it? It was a yak. But I you called it a bronze, I, I a called bronze, it a bronze yak. yak. So, and it, it was a plastic yak. Yeah, photo. Katie, when she first started with us, was not that knowledgeable about things. <laughs> Even about, like, didn't know the difference between plastic and metal. <laughs> Hard things to decipher, but there was a plastic yak, and I looked in the auction, it and it said it a bronze. A yak. No, it was a. It was she a put yeah, she put 
bronze yet. <laughs> And in reality, it was a plastic buffalo. I think I lost this $40. Needless to say, I refunded that customer because he bid on a bronze a bronze yak. And what he got was a plastic buffalo. So check it out. This is actually, listen, that's solid wood. This is really heavy. That's the second one we found. Is there a those. signature on it? That's cool. So yeah, that's a cool carved buffalo. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh, look, this is a camera. It's a Modelo camera. Is it open? Oh, that's cool. What's in there? Ah! <laughs> I don't even know what that is about. Why? I don't know. I Are you no supposed idea. to do that in a pot? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of fun. It'll be in the auction, y'all. Oh, yeah. Is this a lightsaber? What is that? I don't know what that is. What is it Doctor Who something? He had a lot of oh, Doctor maybe. Who stuff. Uh-oh, this is wrapped up. Hey, this was the fun box. Ooh. Wow. That's heavy. Look at that. That's an Indian. Ooh. That's really pretty. Oh, look, it's signed. Pretty. It's signed. What? What? Look at that. That'll be in one of the one of the auctions. I'm not sure which one, but that's kind of cool. What is this? Ooh, vintage hockey. I don't know hockey teams. I was about to make something up, but I don't even know. But that <laughs> does look vintage. Do you think he made these or she made these? Maybe. He hot is an balloon. artist. So that's a hot air balloon. A Heineken. What? Oh, I love these. Yes. Oh, Put it on your face. No, when I was a little kid, you know what my favorite thing to do was? What? Justin Grimes. Look, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Faked you out. It wasn't even real. You thought I was being bad. I didn't, see? <laughs> All right. What else we got? Oh, look, here's the matching gloves. Ooh, that's a mitt. Canadian. Oh, Canada. Oh. Is that a Hummel like they did last time? No, yeah, that was wild, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh, what is this guy? What in the world? What? I guess where he saved all his pants. Oh, look, these are for real, though. Look, a Nixon button. The championship. Oh, look, one. George Bush, 88. What? That's an old Nike one. Uh, Mavericks one, Rudy. Is that, oh, Rudy Giuliani for. Uh, Seriously? <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to rehash on when we get full back into it. <laughs> what? For real, what? <laughs> Did he just say don't stare at me? I said, why were you staring at me? Why were oh, I don't, I have no clue. No clue, Robert. No clue. Only things we've, oh, there it is. There it There's the big one. There's the big daddy. Brock, wouldn't vote for him, but I have a beer with him. All right, there it is. Oh, look. Oh. Is he broke? No, he's just got a flat butt. Oh, because he's supposed to sit like yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, that's it's real, that's real hair it's though. Real fur. Yeah, what if it's got like yeah. the hiv or fleas? Yeah. That's why I don't touch yeah. the stuff. But... Uh oh, another wrapped up thing. We'll save this for the end. Ooh. Y'all, they did not pack this stuff in here very well mm -hmm. at all. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's real coral, it looks like. That is real coral cool. with the like carved, hand painted wood fish on it. Look at all this. These are cool that. items. Serenity Studios. Ser serendipity. That's what I said. <laughs> Um, look, this comes with, you hushed. <laughs> Sorry, it's just too real. <laughs> all right. Do you want to do a highlight of your... Hey, no, hey I, I own Shovel. all of my stuff. <laughs> you realized last night in the video when I said something to you in the kitchen? I hit, I ran into the... No, 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 I said something to you in the kitchen, joking, and you, what you were doing then, you were pulled, you had just pulled out a box of wine from unpacking. I know, I ran into the cooler with the box of wine in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even had anything to drink. Out of a cup, she means. <laughs> Straight out of the bottle, that's di or the box, that's <laughs> that different. Sad. Right? You ever seen that? You've seen people hot out of the field like this? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's Gene in the kitchen after hard work. I'm joking. She's, he is joking. She, I, I don't promise drink you, that much. she does not drink that much an hour. Uh, I'm joking. <laughs> Look, that's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. So we'll put that there. Making me nervous. Look, this is Doctor Who. That's why I was thinking. Yeah. Right? Isn't this Doctor Who? Uh-huh. Never got into Doctor Who. Never watched an episode. <laughs> All right, me either. Oh, yes, the Peace Bear. Yep. I think Sandra... Everybody knows this is the million-dollar Beanie Baby right here. 
I'm not, well, these people aren't going to know who they are, but this is a really heavy, like enameled frame. That's old. Mm. All right, let's look down here. We need to go through all of this. Oh, we need that. Ours burned up in the fire. Yep. Can you see my ball in there? No. Uh, yeah. Closer. Closer. <laughs> all right. Um, what is this? Uh-oh, hold on. What? Love quotes? You are my love, my everything. Oh, that's sweet. That's supposed to be on top of Oh, wait, there's something there. I don't know. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, there's that. <laughs> that old taxi cab. Yeah, that's cool. This is kind of neat. Look at this. Oh, that's the Eiffel Tower. This is, what is that? Oh, wait, hold on. It's like that. There's a hand, hand. But then that looks like a face. That is, looks like, I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. Detroit 2005. I don't know. Can you read that? No, because you keep moving. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Oh, look, we got paperweight in here. These are oh, really cool. pretty. I've seen how these are made. You know, like all the YouTube videos of like how things are made and stuff like that, or people like take a piece of a bar and make like, I don't know, a car out of it, like weird things, you know? <laughs> like, I love those. I get hooked on those videos. I love the show, so how quick. it's made in general. All right, so let's look down here one more time. That is a Cruiser's Rock sticker. All right. And some other little things down here. Hey, this, is, this was a fun box. Yeah. They did get an unboxing. Oh, is this a fire starter? I don't know, but don't blow us up. No matter what the material is in here, uh, unless it's like C4, it's not gonna hurt us. All right. I don't, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was Rona. Uh, that's how the Rona really got over cheap Chinese lighters. I'm joking. Don't call it the Chinese flu. That's right. Right. Alright, so anyway. Alright, hey, that's the end of this box. And guess what? That's the end of this video. So make sure to be back here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central for an all brand new Ground Spawn video. Uh, so we can chitty chat it up with you, right? Because we do do premieres, right? We do. <laughs> right, so make sure to hit that bell select all so you know when we're going live. Because every single video, guys, for nine to ten months solid, we have not done any other videos but premieres. Why? Because we seriously do. We said when we started this, it was about a business and we fell in love with you guys. Then it became a community. So this is a community, not just a YouTube channel. We hope you join. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, select all, and we will see you at the next, next unit. unit. All right.